I have mucus in my nose. Ahem. Hope speak. Good morning. Now then. I'm hungry. I should go to the restaurant and eat some. How you doing, Gundam? Hi, Gundam. Stay back. Do not speak to me, Hugh. This is why I don't like you. This is why I don't like you. What the heck? The wind is running amok today. It is carrying the lost souls of Yakuya and Terra Terra. Are they destined to be cradled against the Heavenly Mother's bosom? Or to burn in the fires of Gehenna? Perhaps you should pray for them, human child. It's possible that prayer might save their souls. <laughs> now then, I shall take my leave. Alright guys, the same as usual. I'm not gonna cap, bro. Sometimes, occasionally, every once in a while, he says something that is just hard, bro. What is your issue? What is your issue? Why are you crapping everywhere? Oh, I feel such nostalgia for Japanese dishes my servant used to prepare. Her servant must have been annoyed to be forced to cook stuff like that. However, an army marches with its stomachs. An army marches with its stomachs. That being said, let us have breakfast. Evil key! Good nom nom numbing! Oh my goodness. Meow. Do you know how many O's I used? Who knows? Whoa there, your cool demeanor gives me shivers! <laughs> but you should talk about it more, you know? Shoot me with your word arrows! Thinking about Byakuya made me really sad, so I'm trying super hard to stay upbeat. About Byakuya? I see. That's I right, see. he may have had piggy fingers, but he was really totally awesome. It sounds easy to keep a promise at the very end. I think it's actually really, really hard. Yeah, you're right, especially in this kind of situation. But to actually die like that. Uh, if only you didn't have piggy fingers. Darn, that's so disappointing. That would have been better for you, though. Now then, I'm up to the restaurant. Adieu. She didn't have to say that last bit. Ha, psych! What y'all got going on up in here? Mm. Hey, you came at the right time. What do you think, Hajime? What do I think about right? Bro, get to yapping. Oh, Vegeta Widow's peak having so. Get up out of here, dude. You think you eat, bro. You think you meet with the beanie. Get up out of here, dude. I'm not rocking with you. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? The stuff you said about a traitor and world ender? I'm asking if you know anything about it. After one night's sleep, there's no way I suddenly find out anything. What's going on? Well, that's obvious. The same goes for me too. Honestly. I didn't get enough sleep last night because of that baffling nonsense. But? But I wonder if it's really true that there's a traitor among us. No. No need to worry. You don't have to worry about the traitor at all. <laughs> However, if by chance the worst case scenario. Impossible. Impossible. Even in the worst case scenario, you don't have to worry about the traitor. That's weird. What do you mean? You're being awfully certain about it. Behold! Of course. In fact, that so-called traitor is tied up at the moment and can't move at all. Huh? It cannot be. Tied up, you say? Could you be referring to Nagito, whom we have not seen since yesterday? Who else could it be? Nagito's the traitor! What about that other part where you said he was tied up and can't move? Hey, Kazuichi, what should we do? Hey, hey don't want me answer this stuff. Find out we work together to. <laughs> you guys are both idiots. You. What does this mean? I mean. Well, you know. <laughs> you know what? We can let him run around free. I mean, he tried to put us all in danger, you know? Teru Teru committed a murder because that guy tempted him, right? <laughs> so that makes him a killer, too. It's necessary to deal with him in an appropriate way. So that's why you left him tied up. However, that cannot be helped. He is quite dangerous. Um, How should I put this? He's a little creepy. Uh, not that I want to badmouth him. Emergency! It's not a little creepy. He's creepy at a max. His creepiness is so high, he can sell tickets to see it. Good instinct. Hmm. That's truly a nice line. Every fiber of my being agrees with you. That's that. That's right. There is no existence more troublesome than that of an incomprehensible human. Oh, my what they like and what they hate, what makes them happy and what makes them angry. 
it's normal for all beings to have standards rooted in experience that can that they can predict their opponent's actions but at times those standards do not work on certain opponents those are the most fearsome opponents of all no establishing a relationship with such a human is impossible hey you should be careful you're teetering on the edge yourself and anyway where, where did you tie what did you two tie nagita uh. Uh, the, the dining hall in the old hotel building. That's where Byakuya got killed. He needs to reflect on what he did at that place. <laughs> so you're saying it's better to kill off a troublesome ally before they turn into an enemy. <laughs> and you killed him? He's obviously alive. I only knocked him out so we could tie him up. Then... Then what shall we do with Nagito at this point? Let's hear everyone's opinions. Hmm. Uh, it's not safe to let him walk around freely. There's no telling what he'll end up doing next. <laughs> He's also the most likely person to be the traitor. Um, so isn't it okay if we just keep him tied up for a while? Oh my goodness, I keep messing up her voice. This chick, she's still eating a lot. I see. If I so, see. it seems it would be better to watch him for a while. But it'd be bad if we don't let him eat or drink. He might end up dying for real. Uh, I know that already. Aww. Jeez, I didn't expect you two would do something like that. I wish you treated more like an achievement. <laughs> and I thought that tiny boy was up to something again. <laughs> Who are you calling tiny boy? Oh, oh you're here? Jeez. It figures you guys are messed up. Is that what you guys do? If you don't like your buddy, you corner them? Look at you sheep acting all righteous. Huh? What did you say? We didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> Oh, did the crappy sheep just- did the crappy sheep all bleed at me? What did you say? Looks like there's one more bastard who needs to get tied up. Bastard! Try it if you dare, bastard! Shut up! Shut up! You can threaten me, but I'm not scared! You... You're just a pipsqueak without the Kuzuriyu clan backing you up! What'd you say? Just stop. Enough. Knock it off, you two. You bastards. I'll make sure you regret that later. What the heck? He's just a whiny loser. Um... Kazuichi, let us stop this already. Aww. Jeez, all this... Jeez! All this fighting, I can't tell if this... I, I can tell it's not gonna be easy in the future. <laughs> the future, huh? I wonder if we even have a future. Hey! Hey, don't start mumbling like that. If you do, I'll get, I'll, I'll get the press too. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I didn't mean to! On top of this island's mysteries, now it's also Nagito and Fuyuhiko to deal with. Ah, uh, it's just one thing after another. And that uncomfortable atmosphere, we finished our breakfast and left to our respective cotton cottages. What should we do today? No way we can just stay here and do nothing. It's time for free time. Oh, oh, oh. Akane! Why she jiggle like that? I'll definitely beat Coach Nekomaru. You don't even know how much I hate losing. Yeah, let's hang out. I'm gonna do it! Then battle me a little. I'd rather fight you than have no opponent at all. Okay. Please, no? I agreed to become Akane's battle partner and saw my life flash before my eyes more than once. Like Akane and I grew a little closer. Yeah, let me give you a present. Oh, this one, this one. I gotta have this one. As long as I got one of these, I'll be good to go for 10 days. You. you look pretty bummed. Are you even eating? Uh, Hank? My name is Hajime. You only got the H right. More importantly, why are you so full of energy? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? There's yummy food, soft blankets. My room doesn't link when it rains. When it rains. What life were you living? This place is way better than where I grew up. Seriously, even in this kind of situation? Um... Uh, you know how it is. It's not that strange to find a dead body at the dump in the morning. Wow. Jesus. Where are you from? I'm from Chicago. <laughs> I'm from Chirac. Hold on. I'm from Obrock. Hold on. A trashy place where crappy people are all swept together. Stuff like that happens all the time. I think you say that like it's no big deal. What kind of environment was she raised in? Anyway, since we never had any money, I did whatever I could to earn cash. 
I even sold my used panties to this noisy pig who kept oinking panties panties. By the time I was able to legally work part time, I didn't have to run away anymore. So when you mentioned about when you mentioned parkour before, you were talking about that. She was robbing people. But that probably just laid the foundation for being a gymnast. What kind of part-time job did you do? I bet you did something like manual labor. Huh. Um, well, I did a lot of things. For some reason, my mom's boyfriends always pushed me into doing weird. What? What? Huh? Like. At first, one of them told me all I needed to do was serve food, but I never expected me he'd tell me to do it like that. I'm pretty sure I kind of talking about being a waitress, but what kind of waitress? Uh, c cosplay? Did he make you do cosplay? Um. Cosplay is that tasty? <laughs> roller skater? Did he make you wear roller skates? Let's see. Oh, what's that? <gasps> Why? Why? What? Huh? What happened? Oh, uh, well, uh, anyway, I didn't know what to do. I mean, he told me to do it without my panties, you know? That doesn't make any sense, right? There's no way I could do something like that. Uh, of course. <laughs> right? That would definitely make your stomach cold. That's not the issue. You. What, man? You're annoying. Talking to you made me hungry again for some reason. <laughs> All right, I guess it's time for me to have my fourth meal. After she said that, Akane walked away in a hurry. What kind of pants did she have? Oh, Oh, that poor girl. That poor girl. What did they do to her? Mahiru! Mahiru! Jeez. I really should take better care of my camera. If it ever breaks, it's impossible for me to send it out for repairs right now. <laughs> oh, but still, it feels weird not to use it. There's so many things I want to take pictures of. I'm gonna go take some pictures of scenery, but if you feel like following me, go for it. I followed Mahiru while she took pictures, and I learned a little bit about photography in the process. Come on! Hey, bro, I give you something nice and good. Is it really okay for me to accept something like this amazing? Something this amazing when it's not even my birthday? Oh, what should I do? I'm really, really happy. Hey! Uh, Hajime, stay right there. Say cheese. Just kidding. Oh, you jerk. I was... That shutter went click. I guess Mahiru wanted to take a picture of me. <laughs> well, I guess this is good enough. Yep, that sure is a dumb-looking face. All right, bro. Dumb-looking face. Only because you took my picture so suddenly. Just so you know, it's not like I want a picture of you or anything. I swear, every guy who's listening, that is true. This is just a record. You don't have to go that far. What kind of record? Hmm. A record is just a record. I want to write. I want. I want to record. I want a record. I want. I want a record that right now. What? Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness! That combo was throwing me off. That combo was throwing me off. I want a record that right now we're all living together in this place. We're living together. It's pretty simple, but in this situation, it's easy for us to forget that. You know. Come on. So I decided to make a record of everyone each day so we won't forget. That's pretty much the only thing I can do right now. My hero's gonna die. I don't know. Don't die. Oh, it's the... Okay, maybe the game is just really has a lot more character building. And that's why. But, oh my goodness. They're, ex they're revealing so much of her character so early on. It feels like they, they're planning to kill her. I seriously wouldn't have thought to do something like that. Myra seems like a pretty solid person. Mm. But taking pictures of guys isn't fun. Uh, I, I guess it'll be fine if I only do it once every three days. You're already contradicting what you just said. Why aren't you commendable? It's so awesome that your priorities are in check. What's going on? What does that mean? Huh? Aww. More importantly, we've got this blue sea and white beach, but that weird stuffed animal just ruins it. No matter how beautiful the scenery is, the subject's face doesn't stand out. Hey. Ah, I know. If you ever see Monokuma again, capture him. I could take pictures of Monami just fine, but he sees what I'm but he sees what I'm trying to do every time. One day I'll definitely capture him with my viewfinder. 
and I'll be world famous for landing such a huge scoop. <laughs> well then, I'm busy, so I guess I'll see you later. After controlling so much of the conversation, Mayu suddenly changed the subject and walked away. Was she angry or something? Did I say something weird? This is bad. I have no clue what's going on. I should return to my room at once. You better not call us out somewhere. Ahem. Hope speak. Emergency! Emergency! Students, head over to Jabberwock Park as fast as you can! Come on, hurry up! Whoever gets there first, I'll treat you to my special made curry rice tomorrow night! Oh! Come on, hurry the F up! Well, we already know it's going to be there first. Curry rice, huh? Feels like I haven't eaten that in a while. Wait, who'd actually fall for that? Akane? I don't know what he's planning this time around. There's no way I could ignore it. Jabberwock Park again, huh? Mikan! Oh, I'm sorry, I'm such a slow pull. Go head over to the park right away. But I'm not being slow on purpose. I tried to leave my car as soon as I heard the announcement. Oh, I tripped again. Oh, I must get a lot of hate for making excuses like this. People are probably thinking. If you have time for that, then hurry up. That girl, she tripped again. She's seriously so pitiful. I love her, bro. Like, I love her. She's aw She's a great character, you know, but... Holy crap, she is so stupid. Yahoo! I'm the first one here. The curry's all mine. She totally took the bait. Yeah. Indeed, I wonder what kind of curry it is. You too. Hey, hey! What's the scientific term for when you get hungry after you hear the word curry? What are you saying? You guys are freaking stupid. Don't get worked up over something so idiotic. Bastard. Hey, where the hell is Monokuma? Get out here! Thank you for waiting! Okie dokie! Thanks for waking! Uh, Okie dokie! Thanks for waiting! Thanks for the miracle of waiting! Alright! Hey, Monokuma, I was the first one here. That means I got dips on the curry! What are you gonna do? No need to rush. No need to rush. I'll probably treat you to my special made Monokuma curry tomorrow night. Monokuma curry? What? It's an extremely delicious curry made from unknown meat, wilted vegetables, and a mysterious brand of rice. Hey. I can't imagine anything delicious based on those ingredients. <laughs> no worries. It takes skill to make curry nasty. Good instinct. That is truly a nice line, but it is meaningless. Now, Monokuma, let us hear what your business is. However, you should know I, the Supreme Overlord, have little time to spare, understand? Go, my boy, if this is something foolish, know that I will feed your remains to these beasts. Wah -wah? Huh? You haven't noticed yet? The reason I summon you guys, uh, if you look closely at this part, you should be able to notice. Huh? What the freak? What the freak? What's up with that? What's up with that? What is this? <gasps> Ah, oh, isn't this an arcade machine? Correct. That's correct. Thank you for waiting. So, I would like the long-awaited recreation time to begin. Don't tell me you're going to tell us to play this game. <laughs> hey, what's the game? What games are on this? She's totally into it. She's breathing really fast. That's so adorable. Hmm. I've only prepared one game, but it's truly a gym. Yeah. <laughs> After all, it's a game that I personally created. You did? Then it is not something I could possibly look forward to playing. What the heck? No, no! Don't compare it to those amateur fan service games. <laughs> you know the famous game that everyone's been waiting for a sequel to? Well, I made a brand new game instead. Famous game. I shall now present. Now that I shall present it. Ta da! The name of the game is Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. What the heck? Pretty lame. Yeah, it is. I want to play games about riddle-solving professors or collecting cute monsters. Stupid! Don't say such silly things. What if we get weighed down by all the quarters? Twilight Syndrome is an adventure series. It's an adventure game series. The first one was released in 1996. It's about a group of high school girls who go exploring in order to verify numerous urban legends. The player controls the character like a side scroller. 
things. I have no interest in weak things like video games. And I don't even know what the, what generation of game that old is. With your face, I find that hard to believe. Boring. But adventure games are boring and tedious to play, right? Don't diss adventure games. Besides, there's a lot of reasons to make one. No, no. You know, like budgetary reasons. Oh. Man, I was a big fan of the series. I don't know why, but I feel like you've totally tainted the series. What are you saying? Shouldn't you be tainting your face with tears of gratitude? I cast a spotlight on a neglected title. And what's the point of the game? Huh? I mean, it's not like you're telling us to play it just to enjoy it, right? Well, you certainly noticed the good part. That's right. This game is going to be your next motive. The motive you need to kill people. After all, I'm going to get bored if the next Blacken doesn't show up soon. Could it be? This game is the motive? Actually. The truth, in truth, this game's theme is a missing link. You know, it's a reoccurring theme for mysteries, right? It's kind of like a hidden connection. What does that mean? Here. If you're interested, then try playing it. <laughs> okay. Hey. You can't. You gotta say no. It's a trap. Hey. Hey, if that's the motive, wouldn't it be okay if we just don't play it? <laughs> that's absolutely right. You're quite the genius. Wah -wah? I see. That never occurred to me. Are you sure about But this? are you sure you want to do that? Hey. Um... Learning the motive means you're going to be prepared, you know? Humans who are prepared and humans who aren't. I don't have to tell you which one is strong and which is weak, right? You. What do you mean? <laughs> For example, if someone secretly played it, that person might come and kill you. Watch out! And the, in the context of a preemptive strike, that's truly fatal. Hey, hey. What do you mean? Are you stupid? He just explained it! <laughs> you guys are all enemies, you know? Is it really alright for your enemy to have an advantage? If you're gonna just ignore it, then do whatever you like, even if you're fully aware of the situation. Bye-bye! What the heck? This is bad. Hey, what should we do? But... Even if you ask me, there's no way I'll know. Anyway. Anyway. It would be dangerous to carelessly touch this game, there's no mistaking it. You are right. You are right. It might be better if we wait and see how things play out. But... But wouldn't it be bad if someone secretly played the game while we were waiting? Whoever gets the motive would become the hunter and the rest of us would become the prey. That's a messed up way of thinking about it. What are you saying? But it's true. Yeah, I have to agree with Fuyuhiko here. That is true. <laughs> it's your loss if you end up dying. All we need to do is kill if we want to win. Bro, you really think you're Byakuya. I don't want to end up like Byakuya at Teru Teru. After Fuyuhiko spat those words, we watched him turn and walk away. <laughs> But Fuyuhiko makes a good point. Huh? You too. What are you saying? Do you really want to kill someone that badly? Cause, cause... It's not like that. I mean, how can you be cautious if you don't even know the motive? Hmm. That might be true, but... Nope. It doesn't matter. Huh? Motive or otherwise, it doesn't matter. I won't let another killing happen. Don't, no, don't do that. Don't say that. Don't say that. I don't want you to die. Don't say things like that. Killing. I will, will never, never allow it. Don't say that. Don't say that. You, you, uh, you saying things like that just proves to show you're gonna die. Ahem. Hope it is now. Please return to your now then, sweet. Huh? That time already. It's better if we just break for today. Hmm. I'll try to think about it tonight more carefully. The correct thing for me to do. But... But regardless, I will never kill anyone. I mean, it's impossible. Um... Me too. It's definitely impossible. For now. Then we should turn in for the day. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Burdened by an uneasy thought, we all went back to our respective cottages. But still... That was totally unexpected. I can't believe she actually said something like that so forcefully. I will never, ever let another killing happen. She's probably dealing with all this in her own way, but... Sleepy. I can't read her at all. A 
motive to kill someone, huh? Is doing nothing at all correct? Or is trying to stop it from happening while being aware of the danger correct? There's nothing I'd understand. There's no way I'd understand something like that. In this messed up world, there's no way I can know what's right. This is troubling. You don't know how tough it is to be successful. I'm so jealous of people who are successful and don't have anything. The biggest obstacle to challenging new things is definitely your past successes. Those always hold me back all the time. I'm so jealous of people who don't have anything. People with no expectations sure are happy. I mean, they can do anything they want without worrying about anything. That's all from Man, being leader. successful is tough. Bro, she's chatting. Ahem. Hope Speak Academy is good. Now then. Chills, thrills, kills. As if by habit, I left my cottage and I just so happened to bump into a certain someone. I swear if it's Mikan, I was finna say. Huh? Oh, it's you, Fuyuhiko. How unlucky I have to see your face this morning. Hey, bastard. Just so you know, I don't want to talk to you at all. I'm in a really bad mood right now. Okay, I didn't really ask though. It's not like you're going to the restaurant right now, right? Where are you planning to go somewhere else? Shut up! Like I said, I don't want to talk to you. He's going back to my cottage. Leave me alone. You're saying going back, but should you go somewhere? It's got nothing to do with Didn't you. I tell you I don't want to talk? Is it that game? What? W what do you mean? So it's true. What do you have in your hands? Hey, what's that envelope? What's inside? Sh you. Shut up! What makes you think you have any right to question me? I'm not trying to question you. I'm just asking, bro. Are you saying you don't like that fact that I acted on my own without consulting you guys? No, bro. I'm just asking! There's something wrong with that, huh? You gonna tie me up like Nagito? I'm just asking! Seriously, I'm literally just asking! Dumbass. Don't talk to me ever again! If you don't swear, I'll freaking kill you! I hate this bastard, bro. That guy is gonna be dangerous if we leave him alone. I should let everyone know. But I should be careful not to make too much trouble. Man, just kill him! I'm about sick of him, no ways. What a gun. This too. The wind the is very quiet. I do hope it is not anonymous portent. Okay. It appears. I did see for you Hiko earlier, but it seems he wasn't going to join us for breakfast today as well. I have some things I'd like to talk about. I'm going to go for a little walk. I suck. My hero. <gasps> ah, nice timing. I've been waiting for anybody to come by at a time like this. Waiting, huh? Hey. Um, I was thinking about delivering this. Is this someone's breakfast? Ah, is that for Nagito? <laughs> I mean, if we just leave him all tied up, he's gonna starve. Hmm. Like, how long are they planning to continue this? Well, there's no way we can keep him tied up forever. Aww. Yeah, that's what I thought at first. But maybe it's better if he was tied up forever. What does that mean? I actually went to see Nagito earlier. I kind of, I kindly brought him breakfast. Jeez. And listen to this, he seriously pisses me off. Do you understand? He said he doesn't like rice and he wanted toast instead. Doesn't he understand the situation he's in right now? So that's why you were running back and forth? Ah, oh, that must be hard for you. Really? Hard? Do you really think so? Hey, hey! Then bring this to Nagito on my behalf. Huh? Jeez. I was forced to run back and forth so many times. I'm done being his maid. Not only that, I just remembered that I was a little business to take care of. Business. Thank you. So, thank you. I'll leave the rest up to you. She pushed a tray into my hands and ran away before I could object. That thank you was adorable. What the freak? Jeez, it's always something. As I recall, he's tied up in the old building. Man! Wish I could just stab Mahito. What y'all got going on? Hey, what you doing? You kind of forced this on me, you know? Don't say I forced you. You're the one who agreed to it, right? Jeez. Anyway, I have something to do, but Hiyoko said... Jeez. Hajime... <laughs> Is she copying Mahiru now? Hajime, you're in the way. Mahiru and I are going to go to the supermarket right now. <laughs> We're going to get candy for each other, right? Hey. 
I know, I know, but don't cling to me like that. It's hard to walk, okay? Hey, hey! Then we can still hold hands? <laughs> yep, of course. Hey. But I really can't spend too much time with you, okay? I have some things I need to take care of. Aww. So boring. Then let's ditch Hajime already and go. Thank you. Well then, Hajime, I'll leave it to you. Hiyoko's totally attached to Mahiro. They kind of look like sisters. Where did you come from? I'm ignoring you. You make me mad sometimes. You can't. No, no, no. This old building is being renovated. You can't go inside. If I'm not allowed inside, why is Nagito inside? Oh, uh... oh you know about it too, Hajime? Because Nekumaro and Kazuichi earnestly told me that Manami is the only one we can rely on. And it's true that Nagito needs to reflect on his actions. I came here to deliver food to Nagito. It counts as murder if he ends up starving to death, right? Please. Starve? Oh. It's okay to go inside then? Yeah. yeah, just make sure you tell him the truth thoroughly before he swallows. Man, just, I, I just wish bro would kill himself already. Why am I so nervous? As you can see, my nervous tension, I vigorously opened the door to the dining hall. As I quietly peeked through the door, I saw him on the other side. He was waiting for me with a big smile on his face. Hajime? Uh, could it be? Did you take time out of your busy day to bring some food to little old me? Wow, I'm so happy. He sounds so condescending. As you can see, I can't exactly greet you with my full hospitality, but feel free to relax. He was the same as usual. Unlike his smile, his words carried a certain heaviness, as if a black poison was falling from his mouth every time he spoke, filling his surroundings with darkness, an illusion, but one I couldn't help but feel, couldn't help feeling at the time. Huh? What happened? Your face looks kind of scary. I didn't come here to talk to you. I just came to bring you some food. So come on, eat it. Oh, you're not going to feed me. Oh my goodness, I hate his voice. I really hate his voice. What do you mean? Well, I can't eat it on my own. You know, since my hands are all tied up. Then how about you eat it like a dog off the floor? Actually, I was really embarrassed to ask a girl to feed me. So I'm glad you're the one who came. Oh, I get it. Freaking Mahiru. That must be why she asked me to go instead of her. Anyway, what happened to Mahiru? She leaves saying she had some business to take care of? Huh? Why do you know that? By the way, I heard about the Twilight Syndrome murder case, was it? I have mixed feelings. I really like that game a lot. D don't change the subject. I'm asking you. Oh, well, I'm a little disappointed. It's not like you ultimates to ignore the threat that's standing right in front of you. So are you really planning not to play the game? Do you think Monokuma will just let that slide? Well, that is, you guys should confront it. After all, hope springs when you confront despair. He almost sounds reasonable. Running away from your problems isn't a solution. I'm just putting it off, but... I don't want to be tricked by you anymore. Bye now. Uh, hey, Hajime, weren't you planning to feed me? Eat it off the floor! Hey, Hajime! Ah, uh, I barely talked to him. I'm already not feeling so well. But I really can't stop thinking about it. Is it really okay to leave that game alone while I'm doing nothing about it? Someone else is... No, nothing good could come from thinking about it. There's something else I need to do. All right, who should I hang today? Mmm, yum! What are you doing? I'm eating Monokuma's curry! You're seriously eating it? Are you sure that's all right? Like... Probably some strange ingredients in it, right? Nah, it's just tasty meat. But it kind of tasted like frog or something. It tasted like it had webbed feet and pro felt pretty warty. Like, that is a frog! 
Plus, it was croaking really loud and stuff. Did you eat it raw? It was alive? Man, the world is seriously huge. It's like a huge island filled with treasure. Looks like she doesn't even notice. Is it better if I just don't mention it? That's fine, right? I should go and get seconds. You're still gonna eat it? Wanna eat it together? I can ask Monokuma if you want. Uh, let's go for it, bro. All right, time to eat till I drop. I spent time eating Monokuma's suspicious curry with the Kane. It was like a Kane and I grew a little closer. Gotta give her a present. What? Mukuro's knife? Ikusaba? Where does this come into play in the game? Oh, this one, this one. I gotta have this one. As long as I got one of these, I'm good to go for 10 days. Hey, you. You're like really small. Uh, Harvey? It's Hajime. Oh, right. That's it. I was close though. Anyway, are you even eating? Uh, I don't really have much of an appetite, but I am eating regularly. I see. Then it's okay. Whenever I see small things that don't look like they're eating much, I can't help feeling worried. You can't survive if you don't eat when you can, you know? Well, it's true eating is necessary, but aren't you going a little overboard? Wait. Of course not. That's normal back home. Hey, Akane. I've been wondering about this for a while, but about your home. What? Huh? It's not that big of a deal. The only major difference is that I have about seven little brothers and sisters and my parents don't work. What the freak is your life? That's the only thing. What the heck? So annoying. You know how every time you get a new mom or dad, you get new siblings too? Well, that's why I don't really know exactly how many siblings I have. That's really messed up. Then you took on part-time jobs to help support the family? <laughs> yeah, but gotta feed the little ones, you know? Yo. When I have my waitressing gig, I sometimes steal, I mean, borrow leftovers and bring home. I got paid an hourly wage and I also got tips too. It was pretty sweet. <laughs> Oh, and I got to keep my panties on, too. I didn't let customers motorboat me, either. WHAT?! WHAT?! Huh? Why are you so mad? I mean, you're a girl. Don't talk about keeping them on so casually. Oh, I see. I I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry, too. I shouldn't have asked such personal questions. This is so awkward. Yo. Uh, I remember now. I've been yelled at like this before. Back when I was waiting tables, there was this weird old dude who used to come all the time. He was a gymnastics coach. Wasn't really into sports and especially not gymnastics. <laughs> but no matter how many times I punched and kicked him, he was pretty persistent. In fact, he looked like he was enjoying it. He kept telling me I had an amazing body. He was seriously a gross old dude. <laughs> but thanks to him, I was able to move out with my siblings and find a new home for us. I see. I think that's good though. Yeah. I think I'm gradually starting to understand Akane a little better. All right, let me go hit up a chi chi hit up Chiaki. Let me hit up my, my my gamer my gamer bestie Chiaki. I'm not talking to you. Well. Whenever I'm playing games, I get a strong urge to eat whatever food appears in the game. I feel that. Um. So I guess I want to eat donuts right now. Okay, okay, okay Asami. What should I do? Hang out with Chiaki? Let's go. I wonder if the supermarket has any donuts. All right, I should go check. We found donuts and spent time eating them and talking to each other. Looks like Chiaki and I grew a little closer. Let me give you a present, girl. Let me give you a pet. Let me give you a pet. Hmm, how did you know I wanted that? I'm totally surprised. I never expected you to have such an awesome secret ability. Thanks. Thank you, you've made me really happy. She's staring off into space again, as usual. She fell asleep! Sorry. Uh, sorry, I was getting a little sleep. While you were standing, impressive. Have you not been sleeping well? Mm. Um, when I'm gaming, I tend to forget about sleeping. Sometimes I even forget to breathe, huh? Plus, I keep having nightmares. I had a bad dream the other day, so I've been a little scared. Can I ask what kind of dream you had? Well, it was a dream about Trio the Punch. Huh? Ah, um, uh, the statue at Jabberwock Island changed into a bald old man with a thin mustache. Probably because that game that also takes place on a tropical island. 
Uh, the more I think about it, the more the situation feels like that bizarre action game. You might even eventually end up turning into sheep. Trio the Punch is a game, right? What kind of game is it? More importantly, you must really enjoy game, Tanchi. Mm. How should I put it? I like it, but gaming is more my life, or maybe life is just a game? But still. Either way, that's all the more reason why killing shouldn't be allowed. It's not a game if you're not having fun. It doesn't mean anything if you just focus on winning or losing. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't mean games always have to have happy endings, but you should get something out of beating them. There might be weird games here and there, but there are ways of enjoying those too. That's why bizarre games are fun. You can beat them as long as you do your best. As expected as the ultimate gamer, I would have probably just give up on a, on, a, on a game like that. Um. But to tell you the truth, there's one type of game I'm not really good at. I see, what is it? I won't tell you. I see. Did you have a reason for not telling me? Is, is it board games? Well, I guess talking to Chiaki, I, I feel better, I understand her a little better. That's enough for now. I powered the words with Chiaki and went back to my room. night I'd probably just go to sleep but I can't stop thinking about that game it's not like I believe what Nagato said it's just not a good idea to leave it alone Twilight Syndrome murder case huh I should give it a try just a little just to see how it is oh lord I'm not gonna lie I do the same thing I probably would have you know I probably would have done the same thing oh Chi Chi huh? oh where are you going at this hour the Monokuma announcement was just made. Well, you know, what about you? What are you doing? Hey, hey. I was about to go back to my cottage. Anyway, what about you? What do you mean, you know? Um, I felt a little hungry, so I was thinking about getting a snack from the restaurant and supermarket. Hmm. I see. So I'll be going now. See you later. Hajime. Huh? Yep. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. I feel like she totally saw through me. Yeah, I have a feeling that she's gonna be our Kyoko. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. What you got going on, Pekka? Have a minute. How's your man? Good timing. There's something I wanted to ask you. Me? What is it? No. I wanted to hear your, I mean, a general opinion. <gasps> huh? Is this what we were, is this about what we were discussing earlier? What were they talking about? Anyway. Regarding my inquiry, do Nekomaru and I look like we're cosplaying as characters from a fighting game? Huh, cosplay. Jeez. When I walk down the street, I'm often told I look like a fighter from this game or a martial artist from that game. I can't understand what they're talking about. No matter how you look at it, I'm only a team manager. No matter how I look at it, that's clearly not true. That happens to me too. One time I was cornered by a strange group of people holding cameras. It was very annoying. So what did you do? If you don't understand polite requests to stop, it's not my fault if I'm forced to get a little violent. I think it's better if I don't know the details. Huh? But Pekka, we must confirm it with Hajime. No matter how others view us, we are ourselves. There's nothing to worry about. I apologize. You're right, I agree. I apologize, Hajime. Just forget it. Now that you mention it. So anyway, why are you here? What are you doing out so late? Well, I couldn't get to sleep, so I was thinking about going for a little walk. I see. I see. Be careful then. It doesn't mean anything is going to happen, but you should be careful just in case. So here I am. If the game turns out to be dangerous, I should stop playing it. So I should just go for it. I guess for now I should try playing it a little. I cautiously sit in front of the arcade game and the screen automatically lit up. If I face the screen, I put my hand on the joystick. Monokuma Soft. Game is a work of non-fiction and your resemblance, living or dead, is purely intention. Uh, what? This game has a strange, old-fashioned vibe to it. I wonder, is the person who's controlling Monokuma actually pretty old? Oh well, I should just start it up. 
It'll start by pressing enter key, right? Girl A. This is like a freaking puppet combo game. Ah, uh, it's already late. I'm gonna be late for our meeting. Everyone's waiting for me. I gotta hurry up and go. If I'm late, everyone's gonna hate me. Um, they're waiting in classroom 1A. Eh? There's no one here. I can't help looking around, probably because I feel a little guilty. Alright, should I try it again? Oh! I gotta use a joystick to look at the door. Okay. That's freaking stupid. Man, you're finally here. You're so late. What were you doing? I'm sorry if you're angry. I'm sorry. Uh, don't be mad. I'm not angry. Just hurry up and get over here. Okay. Let's go talk to girl B for now. Um, we're here because you have something important to say? What's this about? Obviously, it's about yesterday's incident. Hey, you saw the newspaper, right? Y'all. What newspaper? Oh, you're such a slowpoke, girl. Hey, it's in today's evening newspaper. This one, here you go. Just read it. Brown janitor came to work and discovered the body of a female high school student in the music room on the second floor. Struck forcefully in the head with a blunt object that was already dead. It seems the killer broke the window to escape based on the details of the crime authorities say the investigation is going though. I was a little surprised. I never expected it would make the newspaper. Huh? What? What do you mean you never expected it would make the newspaper? Are you the killer? It says someone may have snuck into the school, so I think they may be thinking a pervert did it. It is the only lead they have. I mean, her swimsuit did get stolen too. That sick, twisted bastard. Sneaking into a school to swim kill a still a swimsuit, killing a nearby girl and escaping through the window. Oh, we're all in danger too. But is this really okay? We were the first ones to discover the body and we kept it a secret. It would have been a sin no matter who found the body first. Don't worry about it. It's not like we have anything to hide anyway. That's right, all we did was find a body and not report it. It's not really a crime. But still, I know you're a masochist, but there's no way I'm getting involved with this. I finally got this, I finally get student at this academy. There's no way I'm getting expelled over something like this, right? Isn't that right, girl D? Yeah, but what's up? You don't seem sure. Discuss with you guys. Oh my goodness, all of this freaking yapping! To be honest, I ended up taking several photos of her yesterday. I thought we might get questioned by the police, so I thought I should take them just in case. Where are those photos now? I have them right here. And I don't want to look at them. We're definitely going to get cursed. Stupid curses aren't real. You seriously need to throw away those photos. Give them to me. This is bad. If you rip it like that, the curse. The curses don't exist. Better to rip these photos to shred and throw them in the incinerator. If you have any digital copies, erase them. Hey girl, eat what happened? Why do you sound so desperate? Never mind, just forget about the whole incident. We had nothing to do with it and we weren't the first ones to discover the body. Okay, the end. Cheers, let's just go home already. Come on, it's getting late. Man, it's already late. The hardest part of being the archery cover is the clothes. Everyone's probably gone back by now. Then I guess I have to go back to my own room. I think this is around the time the incident occurred too. Oh, jeez. Why am I thinking about something else stupid again? I got hurt, but forget about this incident. I won't let you forget. Huh? I won't let you forget. Who's that? Why are you? I won't let you forget. I won't let you forget. I won't let you forget. Forgive me. Forgive me. Never. Never, 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 never. I will never forgive you. What the freak is going on? This is not Corpse Party, bro. Ah, girl A. What happened? Did something happen? This is bad. This is really bad. Ooh. Her head split open like that one time. It's probably the curse. It's the curse. It's the curse's fault because of the curse, girl E. 
What happened to girl E? She got clapped up and smacked up and dapped up and dipped out. Huh? This is the end? Wait, now it's game over for some reason. I don't get it. Even the game structure doesn't make sense. It started with the second day all of a sudden and jumped to the fourth day afterward. Why were the first and third day skipped? What with this down five message on this game over screen? Down five? Who's down by five? What the heck is- I don't get this! How would this be a motive? Is this like- Is this what it's like to play a crappy game? But now it's a waste of time to stay here. I think I should go back to my cottage and think about it. Went back to my cottage feeling hazy and disoriented. I tried to think about it, but I think about why I felt so strange. I fell asleep without realizing it. Hey, um... Life isn't just about moving forward. When confronted by an important question, it's good to stop moving and take your time thinking about it. For example, my stomach hasn't felt well all morning, so I ran to the restroom as soon as I got off the train. But right when I was about to enter, an important question stood before me. Life is like that every now and then. Certainly an important question gets in your way. The important question that stood before me was the gentleman side on the restroom door. As I resisted the overwhelming urge to poop, I thought about it desperately. Am I really a gentleman? Do I have class? Am I honest? Am I faithful? No. Why am I even hesitating? Of course I'm a gentleman. A regular person would have last five minutes resisting his urge to poop, but a gentleman most certainly would. Filled with pride, I ran into the restroom meant for the gentleman. What awaited me was another important question. The important question that stood before me was the Western style and Japanese style sign on his door. I was definitely born in Japan, but haven't I forgotten what makes a clean, bat beautiful Japan so good? Do I have enough confidence to call in myself to take a Japanese style poop? As you can see, there are always important questions waiting for you. To you That's what you life are. is all about. Oh, okay. Okay. Those stays popping off that nonsense, huh? Ahem. Hope's good. Now then, let's show. A body has been discovered! Morning, huh? In the end, that game is still a mystery. I don't even know why it would have a, why it would be a motive. I just bite the bullet and try discussing it with everyone. Guess let's head over to the restaurant. I like Hajime. He, he's trying to be honest, at least. Makoto used to make me mad because he would do something he had no business doing and then hide it from everybody and then be surprised when everybody mad. Hajime, like, he's straight up, like, I'ma tell everybody about it. Hi, Mikan. Uh, hello. Uh, good morning. It's such a nice day today. I'm so glad it's sunny. I mean, if it wasn't sunny, it'd be a waste. Huh, waste? <laughs> uh, it's nothing. I was only bubbling for myself just now. So I'll let you myself first. Waste? Wait, what's going on? Hold on, bro. What are they talking about? Poke, poke, poke. What are you groaning about? Why you? Ibuki isn't groaning for some gross reason like Nekomaru does. I'm worried about a more sublime, more serious matter. And that matter is? Yes. Ibuki's music genre from now on. Music genre? <laughs> I escaped the pop sound of the girl band genre. So now I'm thinking about changing my musical, my musical styling completely. Ah, I see. Ah, <laughs> uh, but there's nothing that comes to mind. This is very troubling. Yeah. Hajime. That was adorable. That was so adorable. Hajime, if you think of anything, I look forward to hearing your advice. That's something you can really decide on a whim. Shoot, she the ultimate musician. Who knows? She might pop out, spit some bars, and then start doing R&B. Y'all know how it go. Y'all know how it be. Good day. Good morning, Hajime. Yeah, good morning. After greeting everyone, I put some food on my plate and sat myself at the table near the window. Yo! What is it, Hajime? Is that all you're gonna eat? What? You just eat too much, Akane. You. You're one to talk. All you eat is candy. Why? 
Just because it's candy doesn't mean you should make fun of it. These gummies have four different fruit flavors, so I'm sure they're all full of nutrients. Like, we should just eat real fruit. This seems like a bad time to bring up all that game stuff all of a sudden. I mean, we did agree before that we shouldn't even play it. Let me tell you this. Is Mahiru missing? After Gun was said that I looked around the restaurant, and sure enough, there was no sign of Mahiru. <clears throat> she's always here every morning. It's strange for her to not come. Um. I wonder if she's not feeling well. Maybe. If she doesn't feel good, that's fine. But there's a small chance that she's. What the? A small chance that she's what? I saw Maru. She was outside the hotel. Oh, I see. Jeez. Jeez, don't say such a spooky thing. Let's go. As punishment, how about you run around in a circle three times, say wolf, and jump off a cliff? I don't want to die like that. Hey, hey. What was Maru doing outside the building? Yo. She said she wanted to be alone. I even asked her to come eat with us, but she turned it down. What? Wanted to be alone. Maybe she's planning to play that game. Shut up! What are you saying, pig barf? No way Mahiru would play video games. She's not like that slowpoke gamer girl over there. Huh? Uh, were you referring to me? <laughs> I'm pig barf, aren't I? It's going to be impossible to start talking about the game. And while I was lost in thought, someone quietly sat down across from me at the table. Yo! Hey, Hajime, got a second? What? Lean forward out of his seat, glanced quickly around the room, and whispered to me. Yeah. Today, 2.30 p.m., come to the supermarket. But don't tell anyone else about it. Huh? I'll tell you the details later. Everyone else can everyone else can see us right now. It's bad. What does he mean it's bad? You fiend. What are you lowly creatures discussing amongst yourselves? Well... Nothing. It's got nothing to do with you, so just go relax and go away. <laughs> Did you think I was worried about you fiends? You make me laugh. Laugh, I say. You've elevated arrogance to an art form. Shiver. What sort of supreme ruler feels concerned for the ants who are destined to be crushed? My name is Gundam Tanaka. I am the forbidden ruler who makes even the god of darkness flee in terror. Oh, All I desire is silence and indifference. Silence and indifference. I never took him for the lonely type. For now. Anyway, Hajime, that's what's happening. I saw, I'll see you then. You know, right? Just so, you know, make sure you conserve your energy. Conserve my energy. <laughs> I'll see you later. What was that about? Instead of talking about games, I received a strange request from Kazuichi. And that day's breakfast came to an end. Kaizuichi told me to go to the supermarket at 10.30, 2.30. What do you mean when he said conserve my energy? I shouldn't have wandered too far right now. We still have free time? <laughs> Yippee! Oh, I'm in her... Yo, you can clean up a little better, you know? Like... Oh, this island's always sunny, huh? <laughs> I actually prefer this kind of weather. It's too dang gloomy when it rains. Yeah, we gotta hang out with her. What, you wanna be with me? Jeez, you're hopeless. I spent time today with Akane. Looks like Akane and I grew a little closer. Of course. What should I give her? <laughs> oh, you're giving this to me? You know me so well, thanks. Man, I'm star- I just fed you! Hey, let's go find some food, uh... <laughs> Hector! Hajime. I wanna believe- I wanna believe she's just playing with me and doing this on purpose. Hey, Hajime. I found a place- I might have a, I found a place that might have some awesome things. Come on, let's go. I kinda grabbed me by my arm and dragged me to... The storage room inside the old building. Mana Meal lets you in if you just ask her. She sure is a pushover. I found out there's canned food here. Isn't that awesome? Cause there's no one here and you can still I mean borrow as much as you want. Ah, it's a canned food party. She think this is 60 seconds. Akane eyes lit up from being surrounded by food. She sort of looked like a little kid. When she looks this happy, it's hard for me to want to stop her. Ha! Score! When things don't make sense, the only thing I can do is stuff my face. 
As long as I can eat and move my body, that's when I feel like I'm alive. That's all I need. That's very Akane, I think, but is that really okay? For people, things are never that simple. She might have something on her mind. Are you worried about something? Huh? W what are you talking about? I don't really worry about things. You? There's no way I'd ever worry about anything. Really? Everybody has things they worry about. People feel hesitant or uneasy. Sometimes you just need to vent about it. Yeah. That's wrong. I'm not that weak. Akane swung her arm and hit the light switch. It's only dim, but I should still be careful. Ah, I've already walked into the shelf. Dang. Oh, what's that white thing? Ah! Huh? Tell my man to turn the light on and I saw Akane crouched on the ground trembling next to a white sheet. It probably fell from the shelf when I walked into it. <laughs> it's not a ghost, it's just a sheet. Liar! I'm not lying. See it at your feet. Right? D damn it! Forget about what you saw just now! Huh? If you tell anyone, I'll kill you! If I even catch you thinking about it, I'll kill you! Oh, that's adorable. I'll get you for this! I don't know if I should remember this or forget about it, but I never thought I'd ever see Akane make a face like that. Akane's report card has been updated based on my experience with her. For some reason, my heart was still racing, so I left the area. Looks like it's almost time to meet up with Kazuichi. What's he thinking about all of a sudden? Keeping it a secret from others. I don't want to think about it, but if he's plotting to... No, there's no way someone as carefree as him would do something like that. No, I can definitely see Kazuichi killing somebody. Huh? It's well past the arranged time and there's no sign of Kazuichi. All of a sudden, the anxiety I had been keeping inside me began to swell up like a balloon into it. No. Oh my goodness! Whoa. Hey. Uh, what the heck? Don't get all pissed off because I was a little late. Late? Oh, I get it. I totally forgot he was that kind of guy. Guy that doesn't mind showing up late even though he's the one who asked me to come. That kind of guy. Well, this sort of makes sense. What do you want? Why'd you call me out here like this? Hey. Well, you know, can you do me a little favor? A little favor. Uh, I just overheard something. Apparently, it's Miss Sonia's idea for a change of pace. Looks like the girls are secretly planning to go splash around at the beach. It doesn't seem so secret now. Wait, don't tell me. You uh, as expected, of Miss Sonia splashing around in the sea is a nice idea. Uh, I admire her so much. It's sharp, shocking. My heart trembles around her so much it's about to burn out. <laughs> so let's crash it together. Why me? Hey, hey. Well, it's weird to fake a coincidence all by yourself, isn't it? So how about a scenario where you and I go to the beach and then we run into the girls by coincidence? Huh? Hey, you better not say no. I can't ask any of the other guys to help me with this. Man. Nako Maru can't keep his mouth shut to save his life and Gundam as well. Gundam. Fuyuhiko and Nagito are out of the question. I understand where you're coming from, but I don't feel like going to the beach. Hey. I took the time to prepare your swimsuit, you know? Next is gonna walk all over my kind ass? You're snapping at me? If you say no, I'm gonna bug you about it until you die. There's no way he's joking about that. He is annoying as crap after all. If I have no choice, I'm fine. That's my Hajime. That's how a soul brother should act. So what do I have to do? Well, well based on what I overheard, Looks like they're gonna go to Chandler Beach on the second island. All right. That's why we gotta head over to that diner first. Our plan is to be at the beach before they even get there. And we're gonna act like it's just a coincidence. Got it, so I need to go to the Engine's diner. Revving. Woo, I'm getting excited now. That makes one of us, I suppose. Looks like you can't take a hint. <laughs> Alrighty, the ladies aren't here yet. Let's hurry up and go inside. <laughs> All right, we're here. Now we just have to stake out a spot and wait for the total ladies to arrive. Is he sure about this plan? I mean, isn't this a little too stalkerish? Hey, 
And when are they gonna come? Do you happen to overhear that with your sensitive ears too? Hmm. They mentioned something about coming a little after the sun starts to tilt. So maybe around 4 p.m. It's 3 p.m. right now. We have to wait another hour? <laughs> Always make your move early. That's just the basics, you know? Of stalking? I don't know if you should be talking like an expert right now. Hey. It's fine, it's fine. So make sure you keep watch by the window. It'd be bad if you didn't catch Miss Sonya on her way to the beach, you know? It's our job to keep that from happening. To get to the beach, they gotta pass in front of the diner. Engines revving. You better keep your eyes peeled. This isn't a game. This isn't a game, then what is it? I really should have just said no. Sitting at the table by the window, I rested my chin on my hands and absent mindedly stared out the window. Oh. Are they coming? Did they arrive? It hasn't even been 10 minutes yet. 20 minutes pass and 30 minutes. As time passed, the only things that grew were the volume of my size and the weight of my regret. <sighs> Say, what kind of swimsuit do you think Miss Sonya will wear? Since he's a foreigner, how about a bikini? Don't you feel like there's a pure, innocent, mythical fantasy kind of between a top and bottom of a bikini? Even if I wanted to agree with you, I don't know how to answer that. Wait, huh? And that's when it happened. In the corner of my eye, a certain someone walked the front of the diner. <laughs> Huh, isn't that... I wonder what happened. I guess I should head over. We left the diner in a hurry and ran to where that person was standing. Of course it's for you, Hiko. What? You, you bastards! I knew it was you for you, Hiko. What you doing here? Shut the hell up! That's my line! Hey, hey! What the heck? You're awfully tense. Actually, why do you seem so flustered? Who are you calling flustered? Don't, don't make a false accusation, you bastard! Don't tell me. Aw, oh, man, is that it? You overheard my plan, didn't you? Plan? Aw, oh, that's no use playing dumb. You overheard my plan and followed us all the way here, right? Hello! Hey, what are you doing at this place? Oh, my, my! Oh, that's a strange combo. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Today is another wonderful day. Well... You are done for! You're not gonna get away now that I've caught you. I got so nervous I ended up blurting out something weird. Please don't hate me. I'll take the punishment as much as you like. Uh, you two, it's such a coincidence. I never expected to coincidentally run into you guys here. It really does suck at this. Man, actually, Hajime and I are about to head to the beach together. Oh my. Could it be that's what you ladies are here for? That's such a coincidence. It even seems like destiny. Something's obviously suspicious. Your eyes are moving around like salmon before they lay eggs. Well... No way, I'm always like this. Uh, how should I put it? I always pay attention to my surroundings. I can't keep watching this. As I sighed and looked away from that embarrassing sight, I realized that he had disappeared. Huh? Where did Fuyuhiko go? Well... Well, regardless, you two have arrived pretty early. It's only 3 p.m. You still have about 30 minutes until you meet the others. Kazuichi! Why do you know we're going to meet the others? Why you? And you even know about our meeting time? Hmm. Well, you see. For now. Anyway, let's share the coincidence that brought us together. Is it okay if we join in too? Wow, he got all forceful out of a sudden. Aww. So that's your ulterior motive. You're probably here for Sonya, aren't you? Well. I, I, I really have no desire to do something so rude like declining the offer at all. But Sonya was the one who planned to go to the beach, so we need to ask her. Of course. And it's all good. It's a little devastating to think Miss Sonya would decline, so I just won't think it. Is he being optimist? Is he being an optimist or a pessimist? I don't really get it. Hey, hey! Hey, hey! Is it all right if we go inside now? Ibuki was gonna eat, get a good, good. Was gonna eat a good meal first. That's why I came early. <laughs> uh, sure thing. Let's wait inside. I can't take my mind off for you, Hika. Oh well, I've come this far. I can't turn back now. An army marches on his stomach. I'm gonna heartily eat a hamburger with a side of rice. Is there even rice here? Mm, yeah. I always say something stupid when I get nervous. I'm not doing it on purpose. Why does she say mute? Does she think she's Rika for her day? I returned to the diner and sat myself at the table near the window once again. Ugh! 
Without thinking, I couldn't help letting out a big sigh. <laughs> oh, what are you guys gonna do about the swimsuits? There aren't a lot of change in that beach house, you know? Um... Yes, that's why we're already wearing them. <laughs> What's underneath this uniform isn't panties, it's a swimsuit. Of course. <laughs> well, that's obvious. I also came wearing a swimsuit, too. Huh, really? Ah, uh... uh, which reminds me, you're not wearing yours yet, huh? Then you gotta go to the bathroom so you can change. Here you go, this is your... I am not wearing this. <laughs> um, it may be rude of me to say this, but ah! Dad looks a little too daring. Are you serious? What if something falls out? If this is if this is airing live, you're totally gonna get censored by the network. <laughs> Don't worry, even at my worst, it won't turn into a live action drama. That's not the problem. Hey! Then what is it then? You telling me you don't want to match with me? It's matching? I definitely don't want to wear it. Aww. I'm only fighting is bad, so let's stop. Peeking. Peeking. Things are heating up something fierce. When's everyone going to come? I hope they come soon. As she said that, Ibuki peeked out the window. Oh. What is it? Look outside, outside. What's outside? Isn't that Kyoko? Jeez, don't get my hopes up. I thought it was Miss Sonia. She looks kind of distraught. Doesn't she seem a little strange? If I had to describe it as a song title, it'd be Sprint of Tears. Huh? It looks like she's running from the beach. Did something happen? Despite our questions, Hi Hiyoko ran by the front of the diner at full speed. Huh? She totally ran past us, but wasn't she a part of the beach crew? Apparently she can't swim so she turned us down. Hmm. But she didn't she just come running from the beach? I'm, I'm sorry. sorry, I don't really know all the details about that. <laughs> well it just means us women are full of surprises. Mayu is the type to totally come, but she surprisingly turned us down too. Mayu did, she turned it down? It's so unex uh it's so unexpected of her not to join in an event like this. In fact, she totally planned this sort of thing. That's totally it! But it can't be helped. Apparently, she wasn't fe really feeling well. Um, I'm, I'm terribly sorry to continue this topic, but why was Hiyoko crying? Why are you asking us? But if she was sprinting away from the beach and crying, something's definitely wrong. Hey. Hey. Whoa! When did you get here so suddenly? Suddenly shot it near the diner's entrance. He turned around. Woo! My, my apologies. How disappointing. I thought if I came early, I'd be the first one to arrive. I couldn't keep myself from staring like an idiot. Whoa, Chiaki! You came wearing only your swimsuit. I didn't want to carry it with me. If I did, it'd be a serious burden. Serious burden, that's a total exaggeration. But even though you didn't want to carry anything, it looks like you're carrying something. Instead of bringing lunch for everyone, I brought ice cream. Um, it's not like I'm gonna turn it down, but ice cream is completely different from lunch. I don't think it can be used as a substitute. Also, I was thinking of stuff we could all do at the beach together. So I brought a board game too. Hmm. Should we play it, even though we came all this way to go to the beach? Nah. I see. That's disappointing. Dang, she tried to do two <laughs> nice things for everybody and got turned down. But how should I say this? Is this what Cap Moe is supposed to be? I don't know what that word means. For someone normally so quiet to wear such a daring swimsuit, makes you a little excited, right, Hajime? Yo, don't rope me into this. I don't know. That's what I said, but my heart was actually beating, getting faster and faster. <laughs> Seriously, man, I never expected Chiaki to have such huge jugs. Bro! If you're gonna, bro, feel how you feel, but keep your thoughts to yourself. What happened? Jugs. Hey, hey, hey! I didn't say that's just how I was hot, he's a pervert, you know? What are you talking about? Ooh. I mean, I only have eyes for Miss Sonya. I've dreamed, I've dreamed of going out with a blonde lady ever since I was a kid. The size is a little small, but this was the only swimsuit that would fit me. Hey, hey. I don't look good in it? You look fantastic. Well, no, I guess you look good. Thanks. Then I'm glad, I guess. <laughs> oh, wearing a bikini sure is daring. Then you get bonus points for wearing a white one. My heart's not just thumping, it's thumping off sporadically like, ba-dum, 
thump, thump, ba -dum. It's probably a heart attack. Yeah. Who is that? Kept you waiting? What happened to you? Hey, sorry to keep you guys waiting. Akane! What happened to you? What? Is something wrong? I made sure to wear a swimsuit this time. Not that! Your wounds! It, it wouldn't be strange if we nicknamed you Carrie right now. Uh, oh, you're talking about these. <laughs> On my way over here, I happened to run into... Coach Nekomaru. And when that happens, I gotta fight him, you know? She beat the crap out of you. Oh my goodness. Why does she have to do that? Are you really all right? Your head, it looks like it's split in half. Well, it'll heal as long as I rub some spit in it, right? You're totally playing up the power of human spit. <laughs> I'm all fired up now. I never knew such a strong opponent even existed. Anyway, you need to be treated, and you also need your wounds sterilized. Akane, please come with me. With an unusually forceful demeanor, Mikan pulled Akane into the bathroom. <laughs> That's why she's the ultimate nurse, I guess. Well, it's gonna be okay if we leave it to her. Hey. All right. All right. Who is it this time? Who is that? Oh, that's Pekko. Hmm? Ajime, Kazuichi. Why are you two here? Hey. Aren't you breathing pretty heavily? I just did a little swimming. A little swimming? I swam around the island for about three hours. What? That's too obvious for me not to comment on. That's definitely not a little swimming. Why were you already swimming? You guys are about to swim now, right? Isn't that why you're all meeting up? It wasn't for my enjoyment. I was trying to see if I could swim to a different island. Okay. Huh? But I couldn't find any other islands. It seems it may be difficult to leave this island by swimming. If you didn't see anything after you swam for three hours, it's more than difficult. It's impossible. Yeah, that may be true. Hey. Hey, Hajime. What? Awesome! A woman with wet, slick back hair is pretty fine too, huh? Lord, please, dude, stop saying it out loud! And his body too, man. Young ladies are sure well endowed nowadays. Is that a challenge against all the women in the world? Fine. Ibuki accepts that challenge with the power of technology. Time to pump these puppies full of silicone. Don't say such asinine things. <laughs> it's like everyone is almost here and it's already past four. If so, all that's left is... I am terribly sorry for my delay. Ah! He doubled down on excitement. Ah! Right, what kind of sexy swimsuit is Miss Sonya wearing? <laughs> she look like Ochako. It's a wetsuit! It is to prevent sunburn. I do not want my skin to be sun damaged. However, as I have never worn a wetsuit before, I had a hard time putting it on, which resulted in my delay. Really, it is my bad. Oh my. I see a wetsuit. Well, Miss Sonia does have beautiful white skin. Racist, huh? Miss Sonia! But that tight outfit of hers is amazing! Which is what I'd expect from 100% purebred princess. This guy is quick to recover. Um. Anyway, oh, anyway, why are you two here? Uh, I'll answer that, Miss Sonya. I'll be honest. If you're going to go to the beach, please let us come with you. I am concerned. Well, this was originally supposed to be a girls only outing to strengthen our friendship with each other. <laughs> Do you think you can make an exception? Pretty please! Um, well, it's okay. It's not like there'd be any problems even if there are some boys. Then... You're right. They came all the way here. It would be bad if we made them leave. Miss Sonya, you're just too kind. All right. All right, now that's the sign. Let's get going. But Akane's wounds are still being treated. Shut up! Shut up! No, I can just stand around anymore. I'll go on and prepare. I'll set up the parasol and prepare the drinks. Engines revving. I mean it. I promise I'll give, give him my all to serve you, so everyone has fun. 
With an abnormal amount of gusto, he bolted out of the diner. Um, I'm surrounded by girls in swimsuits. This is a little awkward. I should go help Kazuichi too. As I mumbled my excuse, I ran out of the diner as I'm almost as if I were escaping. Yeah, I'm not saying go to the beach and see what she was crying about. I don't know why you didn't do that earlier. Huh? That bell just now. Could it be? A body has been discovered. Please let it be Kazuichi. Please don't let it be Mahiru. Let it be Kazuichi, not Mahiru. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed. The class trial will begin! Uh, a body? That's a lie, impossible! Someone... Someone come here! That was definitely Kazuichi's voice just now. Tell he's nearby. Please don't let it be Mahi Mahiru. Uh, Hiyoko, anybody, just not Mahiru! Please, not Mahiru! I'm being nervous about it. There's no reason for me to be nervous. A body discovery announcement, I won't believe it. I'm not gonna believe it. There's no way I'll believe it. Who will believe something like that? Or am I swift these something at the beach? Please, don't, don't. Let it be Hiyoko or something. Come on, Nekomaru, something. Come on, not my hero. I, I won't believe it. The moment I stepped inside the beach house, those words, let it, let it. Those words mercilessly shattered into pieces. That was my favorite character! I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen. I told her while I was doing her social link, like the way that she's the way that she was talking and stuff, like it just had death all over it. If this was a dream, when did I, when did I begin dreaming? This is reality. I used Mahiru on the floor covered in blood. I couldn't understand anything that was in front of me. And I couldn't believe in anything. Mahiru. Koizumi, the ultimate photographer. She had an unyielding force of personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people. And she was always straightforward. Toward us and toward herself, she was always facing, for facing forward. She was, not, she was that kind of person. Why her? Why Mahiru? Why? Why did this happen to her? The muscles on my face stiffened and grew hard. Darkness clouded my vision. My legs started to wobble and I instinctively placed my hand against the wall. Damn it! Hey, Hajime. Before this, we were having a great time, right? We were excited about going to the bees. We, we were having a lot of fun. But why? Are you kidding me? Why did something like this happen? Someone tell me! I obviously don't know what's going on either. Oh. Now's not the time to make bubbles. Hurry up and get the others. Ibuki instantly left the beach house. I'm sure it took some time for everyone else to come here. They had to change and whatnot. It must have taken some time, but I really didn't know how much time I ripped past. My senses were numbed. My emotions were also numbed. Within me, various layers were peeling off. My senses started to return around the time I realized that the others were already here. Huh? What, what the hell is this? Ah! Why Mahiru? The girls were standing outside the door leading to the beach, their faces pale with terror. Something like this. For heaven's sake, what in the world is going on? Their pale faces still intact, the girls began wobbling toward the beach house. 
until a voice stopped them. Ah, uh, hold on a second. Those things beneath you, be careful not to step on them. What? Beneath? See? You know, the footprints in front of the door. There are footprints leading out of the beach house, right? That's probably an important clue. So don't step on them. Huh? If you mean evidence. Monokuma mentioned it in the announcement, right? After a certain amount of time, we'll hold a class trial. What the? Another class trial? You serious? Then are you saying this is... That's right! That's right! One of you guys killed her! Lies. Killed? That's impossible! Hey, hey! It's not like an accident or something? Like... If you guys think that's an accident, that, that still means that death was caused by someone else's actions, right? In other words... That also counts as a legitimate murder. Though such deaths fall into a gray area, on this island, I'll make it clear, I'll make sure it's clear to you guys. On this island, dying from sickness is basically the only death that's not considered a murder. <laughs> well, it's possible to get sick and die on this island. It's impossible to get sick and die on this island. Now when Monomi takes such good care of people. What's this? Oh, speaking of which. I don't like this. There it is! The silent treatment attack. This is like the number one thing that hurts me. <laughs> well, fine, I'm not gonna lose to your bashing. I've decided to become a tough kid. <laughs> This is the worst. Once again, this horrible nightmare. Another victim, and it's all because of Monokuma. No way! Jeez, it's not my fault. Whose fault is it, you ask? To find out, we'll hold the class trial. So... Let's begin already. No whining, just begin already. It's the Monokuma okay, file. Okay, I shall pass out the Monokuma file number two. This should start to feel familiar. Do your best. Now then, do your very best to investigate. I'll see you at the. I'll see you later at the class trial. <laughs> this is horrible. It's just too horrible. Hey. You should have stopped the murder before it occurred. Don't you have that kind of power? <laughs> Dad, I did have the power before he appeared. Perhaps. Even if she tried to stop it, judging from Monokuma and Monami's relationship, there's no doubt she'd get stopped herself. Yes, Monokuma took everything away, including the magic stick and the surveillance cameras. The only thing I can rely on are these ears, but they can only hear about three times out of a normal person. So basically... So basically, you have no idea what's happening on this island in the first place. That's just the worst. A powerless rabbit like me is the worst. Hey, now's not the time to focus on something like that. More importantly, what should we do? Do we have to do it again? That cruel thing, we have to do it again! Why? I cannot believe it. Mahiru was killed by one of us. Damn it! Yeah, I can't do this anymore. Investigating the class trial, seriously, I'm done. Everyone feels the same way, but we can't do anything else except do it. And... There's no way we can just ignore the reason Mahiru was killed. Hey. Yeah. The only thing we can do is investigate. Cause it's bad. Cause we should never forgive that. Killing is something we should never forgive. Chiaki. Well? The killer has their reasons, I understand that. It was the same for Teru Teru too. It's really all Monokuma's fault, I understand that too. But even so, Fine. we should never I'll forgive never killing. She usually has her head in the clouds so for her to say something like that. She probably can't forgive this at all. But that's true of me too. Understood. Regardless, everyone is going to die if we don't do it. In order for us all to survive, we must do it. I'm gonna do it! Then let's do this! Perhaps. Mahiru probably wants us to do this too. She would want us to reveal the truth behind her death. <laughs> I understand. If everyone's doing it, I'll do it too, but... Please, give me a little time. Give me a little time to calm myself down a little. Also, I'll go tell the others who aren't here about this. You're right, if all you heard was the announcement, you won't know where the murder took place. I shall excuse myself for now. Hey. Then let's begin. Who killed Mahiro Koizumi? Why was she killed? <laughs> we gotta find out and solve this already. That's right, we have to do it. It's the only way. I don't want to do this, but that's more reason for us to finish this. I'm the only one who can do this. That's the end of this episode. Ah, that's the end of this episode, guys. 
Um, if you enjoyed, make sure you hit like, subscribe, you know, do all that good thing, all those sexy things, you know. Uh, tap in for the next one. Dang. Uh, well, my favorite character is dead. Well, I can't really say anything more than that. My favorite character is dead. Um, you know, if you don't, if, if you don't see another Duncan Rampa video from me after this, just know I probably killed myself. Uh, yeah. But anyways, peace out. Love you guys. You like it, like and subscribe. Have a blessed day, you know?